Good morning, Grade Eights. This video lesson corresponds to cycle 20 in line 100 in our blue books. It's about the chromatic scale. Now, a chromatic scale is similar to major scales and minor scales in that it starts and ends on the same note. For example, in line 100, we're starting our chromatic scale on the first note of E flat concert. And it starts on the first note of E flat concert and travels to that same letter from E flat to E flat for concert pitch instruments, from F to F for B flat instruments, from C to C for my E flat instruments, and from B flat to B flat for the French horn. So while the, the destination is the same between, say, a major scale or an E flat concert and a chromatic scale like we're going to look at now, the journey is very different. Let's take a listen to an E flat concert first. So that's a major scale starting on the note E flat. That's only seven notes, eight notes if you include the note on the top. The chromatic scale has a very different sound. It sounds like this. That's 12 tones, or 13 if you include the note up on the top. Let's see how we made that sound. Let's start with concert pitch instruments. Concert pitch instruments, our first note is here, E flat. After E flat in our chromatic scale, we play E natural, and then F, and then F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat. So you can see that we're traveling from E flat to E flat in semitones. For example, from E flat to E to F and then F sharp, etc., etc., in semitones, all the way up to say C, C sharp, D, E flat. For my B flat instruments, the movement is the same. We start on F and we play F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F. Again, in a chromatic scale, we move in semitones. And we don't skip any notes along the way. We play every single semitone on the keyboard from one note to the next. So B flat is where we be playing F, and then F sharp, and then G, and then G sharp, etc., 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 all the way to say D, D sharp, E, F. Again, we're moving in semitones. Alto sax, berry sax, we'd be moving in semitones as well. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C. So, moving in semitones. So C, C sharp, D, D sharp, etc., etc., A, A sharp, B, C. French horn, same deal, moving in semitones. That would be B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, all the way up to is it G, G sharp, A, B flat. Now you can see in the first four bars, we're expressing that movement in semitones, mostly in sharps. This makes sense because as we travel to the right on the piano keyboard, if we travel from a white key to a black key moving to the right, we're making a note sharp. So since we're moving upwards in a rightwards motion on the piano keyboard, we're going to use sharps to express accidentals. On the way back down, it's the opposite, isn't it? When we move to the left on the keyboard, instead of expressing accidentals in sharps, we express them in flats. Say like B, if we move to that black key to the left, we make it B flat. So on the way back down, these accidentals get expressed in flats instead. So it would be E flat, and then D, and then D flat, and this would be G flat, G, that wouldn't be G flat, G, that would be G flat, F, E, E flat. So on the way back down, we use flats. But of course, sharps and flats, for example, D flat and C sharp, those are the same note, right? They're just enharmonic relatives. 
So take a look at 94, 95, and 97 before you dive into line 100 to refresh your memory on how to play those notes, and good luck.